and central to America's understanding of itself and also its practice of itself. The American Republic isn't just an idea. It's a practice. It's a habit. And since the beginning, America has performed its existence in relation to us. And I don't think you can understand that existence without understanding us. Because, and I also believe this to be true, that America has also, since the beginning, been engaged in a civil war, and, and not one that we think of. Since the beginning, America has been struggling between two, two forces. On one hand, it has exhibited some of the most, it has indulged in some of its most base instincts and continues to do so. And on the other, it tries to keep in mind its founding documents and its stated ideals, and it tries to live by them. And that, that war, and I don't know what else to call it, has been ongoing since the beginning. That's the conflict that informs our contemporary electoral politics. It informs the culture wars of the 1980s and 1990s. It informed the countercultural movement and our reaction and experience of the Vietnam War and of civil rights and of the New Deal. And we have always been central to that conflict. In our experience, you can see America at its worst and you can see America struggling to be its best. And so anything that leaves us out is not only unfair to us, it's just inaccurate. And there is this tendency, however, to only engage in Indian history, to only think about Indian lives and experiences as a kind of liberal act, as a kind of community service, and as a, as a pity and guilt payment for past wrongs. And I don't think that's very uh, either accurate. I don't think it's very helpful. I don't think it's very interesting. And it doesn't serve anybody. All it does is serve this perpetually renewable need for catharsis and for deep feeling and release. And then nothing changes. And so I wrote this book as a way to try and perform a different narrative to move beyond all of that. Well, yeah, that is something you mentioned that the ways in which we tell our story shape our reality, which maybe is a reference to Hayden White. So if readers read your book, they can get an introduction as well to discourse theory, but in an infinitely more comprehensible way than Hayden White would ever do. So, Oh, you know. God, thank you. Um, although I really geeked out on Hayden White, um, among others, back when I was in graduate school. I was lazy, and anytime I had those post-structural people, I, w I wouldn't read what they wrote. I would read readers by smarter people so someone else could do the work <laughs> for me of understanding, which maybe explains why I'm here, but whatever. So, um, <laughs> But to go back to your point of the way we tell the story is how we understand it, not just you know dumping raw facts. That's very helpful. Well, thank you very much for this, David. I mean, there's so many thank avenues you, we could take this because this is a very big history and a very big topic. So the book is The Heartbeat of Wounded Knee. And um, if uh, people want to find you online and see everything you're up to, is there a good place for people to do that? Sure. I have a website. It's davidtroyer.net. And I'm pretty easy to find on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, I guess. I think I'm easy to find. All right, well, I'll be sure to include all those links in the show notes so people can find you online and find your book as well. David, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. All right, well, that wraps up our exploration of the past for this episode. As always, I want to thank the Knowlton's Rangers, especially our spy masters, Josh Reddick, Baron Fraser, Chris from Maine, Carl from Norway, Moondoggy from Ohio, Rick Knowlton, Vic and Irene, Mike from New York, Michelle, and Marlene. I'll explain what that is in a second. If you like the show and want to help it grow, there are four easy ways for you to do it. One, like and subscribe to the show on the podcast player of your choice. This helps spread the word about the show. Two, join our Facebook group. Here we can keep the discussion going about new episodes and you can talk about what you like and didn't like. And you can find this group if you just search for History Unplugged on Facebook. Three, we have an online store with t-shirts, phone covers, and other accessories featuring awesomely bad history puns that were crowdsourced by you, the audience. And you can find that if you go to teespring.com slash stores slash history dash unplugged. That's teespring.com slash stores slash history dash unplugged. Four, and this is really the best way to dive deep with History Unplugged, and that's to become one of the Knowlton's Rangers. 
If you know your American history, you know the Knowlton's Rangers were an elite spy and reconnaissance group in the American Revolutionary War, but it's also the name of the membership program of History Unplugged. You can join at three levels. If you join at the level of Scout, you can hear all the episodes of History Unplugged completely ad-free and get early access to new episodes, at least a week early. If you join at the Intelligence Officer level, you get special bonus episodes, like a 10-part series on the World War II hero Audie Murphy, a multi-part series called Ottoman Lives about different people in the Ottoman Empire, and a series called Rendezvous with Death that looks at biographical profiles of Americans who went to fight in World War I before America entered the war. The last level is Spy Master, where you get all that stuff, but you also get three hardcover history books, Forging a President, How the Wild West Created Teddy Roosevelt, Race to the Top of the World, Richard Byrd and the First Flight to the North Pole, and The Last Fighter Pilot, the true story of the final combat mission of World War II. Another bonus is you can choose a history topic for me to focus on for an entire episode that can go up to an hour, and I'll answer whatever question you have for me, and you get a shout out at the end of each episode. If you want to learn how to become a member of the Knowlton's Rangers, Go to patreon.com slash unplugged. That's patreon.com slash unplugged. All right. Well, that is all for my spiel. Thanks for listening to the History Unplugged podcast from ancient Greece to the Cold War and everything else in between. See you next time. Thanks for listening to the History Unplugged podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the show to get your daily dose of all things history related from ancient Greece to the Cold War. We'll see you next time at the History Unplugged podcast.